Hello, my name is Dr. Peter Schub. I'm a breast radiologist based in Parktown, Johannesburg, South Africa. What we have seen, uh, especially in the last few years, is an increasing population of older patients coming in with hormone cancers or slow-growing cancers, often small cancers. Um, and these patients are not always fit for theater, for general anesthetic, but they need to be treated. We've been looking for a less invasive treatment. In addition to that with the rising medical costs, especially with hospitalization, is considerably cheaper for the patient and the funders. In the age of COVID and the pandemic and lockdown that we've all been going through, where a lot of surgeries are postponed or delayed, we have an opportunity here to treat those patients in a relatively safe environment where they don't have to be admitted or exposed to, to hospital infections. Uh, they don't have to undergo risky general anesthesia. Um, and so I think that there have been a lot of positives and, you know, it fits in with the general move towards less invasive treatment of breast cancer uh, while achieving the same results. The patients are not admitted. They don't have to stay overnight in the ward. They don't have to have a general anesthetic or an operation. They don't have all the complications of an operation in terms of healing and bruising and pain that we often see. So, Cryoblation involves a patient coming into the outpatient department. We don't put them to sleep. We do the procedure under local anesthesia. It's not a painful procedure at all. The patient is left with some bruising, which heals within about a week. And really, cosmetically, we have a far better result than if they had an operation. There's really been no reports of long lasting pain or complications. In terms of cost, because you don't have the theatre costs and the admission costs, it also is significantly cheaper. We've worked out that, that it costs less than half of what a lumpectomy in theatre would cost. I think that we're going to see that um, although at the moment we're starting out with a particular subpopulation of patients, that there are more and more patients who would benefit from this, especially those with small tumours. I'm lucky enough to be part of very experienced multidisciplinary cancer team who um, has always been open to new technology. And in particular, Professor Carol Ann Ben, who leads the unit and internationally recognized. She, from the start, was uh, very eager for us to develop prior ablation within the unit because there are so many of these patients who are not suitable for surgical procedures. Through ASCUA to um, visit on-site Professor Fukuma uh, in Japan at the Kameda Center who is probably amongst the one or two leading cryoablation experts. He's done well over 400 procedures uh, with excellent results. We were able to spend several days at the center there observing uh, multiple cryoablations of cancers and um, you know, learning from the uh, master. We were scheduled to have on-site technicians come from ASCURE and train us, uh, and that became impossible with uh, travel restrictions. But we were really determined to develop it, and I think that part of the reason was that we recognized that surgeries were going to be delayed and backlogged, and we wanted the opportunity to offer patients this cryoablation and not have to wait until you know the COVID was under control. Together with 
ask you, we decided to embark on a remote training over Zoom, both in terms of the technicians operating the equipment, our radiographers, and myself. We did several practice runs, not on patients, and then we brought in patients. And I must say that even though it would have been optimal to have trainers on site, I thought it worked exceptionally well. And I felt that we were very well trained and that by the time I was doing procedures on my own, I was confident to proceed. Um, and I haven't looked back. Um, we have now done 10 procedures, all on breast cancers. The procedures have all gone very well. We haven't had any problems either with the equipment or the procedure or the patients. We haven't had any complications and um, so far it's all on track and we and we're really just looking from going from strength to strength our patient mrs c 89 years old she was diagnosed with a, a small luminal a breast cancer um, i think five years ago she wasn't uh, quite fit for theatre and so they put her onto primary endocrine therapy initially to moxifen and then they changed it and she has been extremely anxious about the fact that she had a cancer in her breast she wasn't happy even though it wasn't growing it wasn't really shrinking either on the treatment um, and in addition she was having severe side effects from the treatment and she was really quite desperate for us to do something about this tumor. She also happened to be extremely anxious um, and uh, uh, worried about the pain of the procedure. Uh, anyway, we went ahead and um, she coped extremely well. She had no pain or discomfort during the cryoablation and she had almost zero pain and very little bruising following the procedure. So we successfully froze her tumor 